After all the build-up about a new computer, it was this man, up and out of his sickbed, who provided the first surprise of the night. We've been working on this product for a while, and I just didn't want to miss today, so... <laughs> Last year, said Jobs, the iPad had proved more popular than they dared predict, and he acknowledged its popularity had spawned clones from Apple's rivals. What about 2011? Everybody's got a tablet. Is 2011 going to be the year of the copycats? And so iPad 2 was revealed, thinner, faster, and bedecked with the now obligatory two cameras. And there have been some tweaks to existing video editing and music making applications that will work on this more powerful handheld device. It's quite a gentle step forward. It's, you know, as is often the case with Apple, it's a, a gentle evolution rather than a complete overhaul. But it addresses the problems that the, the first iPad had, that it didn't have a camera. But alternatives are everywhere, many with features to rival the iPad 2 that could bite into Apple's market share. I think that they're starting to get worried. They've, I've sat in through a lot of presentations from Steve Jobs before, and it seemed this one was there was a lot more aggressiveness, you know, quoting Samsung, quoting Honeycomb. Steve Jobs was probably right when he said that 2010 was the year of the tablet. Certainly by the turn of the year, there were literally dozens of rival products to choose from. Whether the cameras on this new device, with its FaceTime calling, its photography and its video, may prove a winner, I guess time will tell. Martin Stanford, Sky News.